Let's talk about breathing and labor, but first, if you didn't know, your breathing has a huge effect on your labor. The way you breathe, the way you breathe out of your mouth is going to affect your perineal area. So this first technique is really the one that I did in the beginning part of labor. There are different stages of labor. There's latent, active, and transition. First part, usually like things aren't too, too serious. You usually talk through those contractions. The active stage of labor is when you are having a hard time talking through the contractions and it might be your instinct to very much tense up and not move. It's super important though in the active stage of labor that you're still trying to get movement even if you have an epidural. You're still being turned and having frequent position changes, being turned like a rotisserie chicken. It's important you let your body be loose. It's important that you control your breathing. If you have no control on your breathing, you're gonna not get good oxygen to your body. You're gonna tense up, prevent baby from just kind of everything opening, everything relaxing, baby coming down. And it's also gonna make your pain increase if you're tensing up and holding on. So this first breath is the distressor breath. And I usually say this is a good one for the early part of active labor. The way we do it is we breathe in on a count of three or four and we breathe out for like a count of six to eight. I usually breathe in for three, breathe out for six. I'm gonna breathe in through our nose, and then we're gonna breathe out through our mouth. Practice it now, we're gonna breathe in for three. So as I was breathing out, I was thinking of my belly like a balloon that was deflating. Now let's talk about J breathing or Moo breathing. So for this one, think of your body, think of your body like a J, right? So your mouth and you're thinking of the air going out through your perineum. This is what I started to do more towards the later part of active labor or starting to turn into transition when I felt like I couldn't really, uh, when I felt like it was, I was having a hard time managing my pain. You're going to breathe in again through your nose on a count of three. And as you breathe out, you're going to either moo or you're going to make some low, low kind of a sound. If you're having more of a high pitch sound, like ah, <laughs> all of that air and pressure is up in your head. If you do a lower sound, like a moo or a oo then all of that pressure is down lower in your perineum. Let's do it together. You can do it longer than six seconds if you want, wanted to, and I just kept going back into it over and over again as I was getting through that contraction. And as you're doing that mooing, think about your vagina just opening up. <laughs> Ooh, direct your pressure down into that area. Let's talk about transition breathing. So when you get to transition, which is like the last little part before baby is about to come out, these are the breaths that are gonna get you through. <laughs> couple of short breaths in and a couple of short breaths out. I usually did them through my nose. I do two short ones in through my nose, two short ones out through my mouth. Again, keeping it in that very <laughs> O position, directing that pressure down and out. Um, if you wanna do them through your mouth, in and out, we'll, we'll practice it both ways. Let's do it through our nose first, ready? Now let's do it through our mouth. Other than just tensing up and going and holding your breath and keeping you from getting oxygen, it's to keep that oxygen moving through your body and as you're breathing out, as you're breathing out, you're pushing, you're letting that pressure come in and out. Just like with our J breathing, we want that pressure to be directed downwards, not all up in our head or our face. Lastly, the biggest thing I'll try to impress upon you is trying to keep your mouth and jaw as relaxed and open as possible. This, open, loose, this, open, loose, okay? They mirror each other. So practice this when you are pregnant. Don't wait till you're in labor to try and pull this all out because you're going to be having to think too hard about it. What I try to do is when I was on the treadmill or I was walking, when I was pregnant, when I was exercising, try to go into a place in my mind and get in the habit and practice of just doing it. That way, when you are actually in labor, it just is automatically turns on in your brain. You know how to do it. You can go to it quickly. Practice makes perfect.
If you like this video, make sure to follow, subscribe. My name is Kara. I'm a mother baby nurse and a mom of three. And this is what I do. I'm here to help you. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching.